October the 22nd, 2019. As you're looking at today's uh, edition of spaceweather.com, it's one of the top links on our website at bpearthwatch.com. Just click on links, you'll see it there. But what's happening is we're getting a lot of clear weather now. We've got cooler weather moving in to several areas of the U.S. Not everywhere, but we uh, here in the southeast have had almost cloudless skies all day. And with things in the swamp looking dark, you know where you have to, what you have to do. You have to look up and realize who's in charge. But tonight may be a very good night to do some looking up. The ordinate meteor showers, what we're going through, it peaked today. It lasts for several days, and it's part of uh, the trail of Halley's Comet. The Oregon meteor shower is peaking today as specks of dust from Halley's Comet slam into Earth's atmosphere at 148,000 miles per hour. Thomas Ashcraft sends this report from New Mexico. Last night I captured an Oregon fireball zinging overhead with a dynamic radio echo. When you play the video, don't forget to turn up the volume, and we'll do that, guys. But what's happening, if you notice, uh, that this was last night, October 22nd, but uh, you've got two channels that they're monitoring, and they use what's called, I think, a Yaga antenna. And when these fireballs hit the top of our atmosphere, it creates an ionization trail that's picked up. You can see it on camera here, but we have one of the sites, or maybe two on our website, called Live Meteors. And you can go there and listen to where these things ping in as they enter. But if you have clear skies tonight, guys, the uh, show could be really neat. Now, the best time, it says, to look for the ordinance is during the hours before local sunrise when the constellation of Orion is high in the sky. Other showers may produce more shooting stars, but the ordinance are second to none in beauty. They strike Earth's atmosphere, again, at 148,000 miles per hour, 66 kilometers per second. Only the Leonids of November are faster at 72 kilometers per second. The Ordnance often leave a glowing train, which is incandescent bits of debris in the wake of the meteor that lasts for minutes, swirling among, again, the stars of Orion, Gemini, and Taurus. Now, they're called Orion, not because they come from there, but they appear to come from that direction. Same with the other ones. Many of these um, meteor showers that we go through are comet trails, and many are of Halley's Comet. It's very large. The Each year we go through a different section of it because it's so large, guys, and some are thicker than others. And this year has been a year for this planet to be going through these thick sections. But you'll have a tremendous amount of debris. Uh, small meteorites, larger debris, some the size of asteroids in the millions. And as Earth blows through here, our shields are catching. Now, sometimes if you make it, remember chair blinks, things like that. But, uh, guys, it should be a great show if you can get out. Check it out. But let's take a look at Mr. Ashcroft's uh, video. And again, what you just saw was just one fireball. If you go to, again, on our website, go down to Live Meteors, you this will pick up most of the ones that come across the U.S. Now, taking a look at this model, you've got the sun in the center, then you've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars is in the red line. Earth is in the blue orbit, and you can see the actual planet in the dot. Now, of course, the debris field is part of the ordinance, part of Halley's debris trail. What's happening is it's pouring across the orbit of Earth, uh, moves over the orbit of Mars. I'll turn this down as we look at it, and then dives back down on the other side of the inner solar system. So as we tilt this up, guys, you can see what's happening. It's uh, like eddies, but... The meteors, as they're streaming past Earth, are thicker at different times, like I said before. And you can see that as they come around the sun, they speed up because of the gravity tug, and then they're slung shot back out into space. But many do not make it that far out and are caught back into the eddies. 
uh, before it reaches the outer orbit of, or the golden orbit of Jupiter there and are pulled in and thicken the debris trail. It's very interesting to watch, guys. So again, if you've got clear skies tonight, check it out. The best time will be early in the morning and Ornid will be high in the sky. But you can start seeing these after dark. So it's now 6.15 p.m. Central, 7.15 on the East Coast. So as the sun's setting, uh, just start looking into this night sky. Keep an eye on it, guys. They can become very, very beautiful at, so, at certain times. But uh, it's part of God's creation. It's amazing. It's a heads up. Be safe.